Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm here in Rotorua, New Zealand. It's a couple days before the 2017 Tarawira Ultra Marathon. I'm with women's defending champion Fiona Hayweiss. Hi! Hi Megan. I'm in your home country. Yes, it's so good actually to be on home soil. Yeah. I have you here. Yeah. You didn't have to travel far. No, not <laughs> this time. Oh, six hour drive. But, um, okay, oh yeah. yeah, fair enough. <laughs> no flights. You know, when you look at uh, New Zealand on a global map, it looks like a tiny country out in the middle of the South Pacific, but then when you get here, you realize it's not a tiny country at all. No, there's, um, there's a lot to explore. Yeah, I think people underestimate it. They come here thinking they can squeeze all of them to 10 days <laughs> or a, a week or something. But I can see a whole yeah, country! Yeah, but no, definitely not. <laughs> well, you are back in the land of Tarawira. Yeah, this is my at Tarawira. Yeah. yeah, and you have a descending or ascending scale of awesomeness when it comes to this race. <laughs> I think oh. it has gone something in the in the long distance, something like seventh, fourth, first. Is that? Yes. Yeah. That yes, it is. You got that right. Good. How do you improve upon last year? <laughs> um, I will. Well, the good thing is that this year there's been pretty much no course course changes, mm -hmm. so. Um, I'm just going to look at improving on my time from last year. Okay. Yeah, it's a good, good starting point. I think you're an excellent person to ask about this race. Um, you keep coming back to it. This must be, there must be something about this trail, this space, these people that draw you in. Uh, it's a, it is, it's a combination of all those things. Um, I guess it's uh, very close to my heart because it was my first um, Ultra marathon that I ran, mm. so that was back in 2011. And you did the, you started with the shorter. Distance, yeah, with right? the 85. Um, I'd actually signed up for the 60 that day, oh, but cool. um, getting to the 60 mark, um, I was having such a good time. No I way. Decided to carry on. To no 85. way. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. True. You said, "Can I keep true, going?" True. And yes. they said, "Okay." Yes. Amazing. That's one of the things you can do in this in <laughs> this race. Paul is very open to. Um, <laughs> Yeah, people extending or even and dropping <clears throat> back as well on the day. So, wow, that's good. So, what made you go up in distance that day, and what made you? Oh, yes, what made it you was come back? it was the whole atmosphere, like right from the start. Um, the, the obviously the aid stations, how well the, the they were equipped, and um, the amount of different mm. food you could try, and depending on how you feel, um, the the volunteers that were so encouraging. And then just the the scenery and um, it's so runnable and you get lakes and a few hills in there, mm. lots of forest and yeah, so it's, it's just a whole mix. Do you think you uh, get both faster and smarter as the years have gone on, or like how would to yeah. what do, would you attribute your your continued and De marked improvement? Uh, definitely. So, I mean. From the first time I was here doing the 85, it was very much um, at a recreational level. Mm. I was just giving it a go for the first time, mm. and um, I, I still think back and have a wee laugh about the fact that I was um, standing around at the aid strip stations <laughs> like it was a big smorts board in the hotel, having a wee try of everything. And, buffet yeah, for you. Yes, and then moving on. Um, uh, but then, obviously, yes, if, mm. as the years have gone on, I've um, become a bit more uh, competitive and um, and now uh, more efficient at the aid stations and to the point, like, on Saturday, I won't be using the aid stations. Mm. I've mm. now moved to uh, Tailwind Nutrition, so I'll have that all um, set up, ready to go, uh, and my crew will just be... Handoffs from your hanging. crew, yeah. baton style. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The course, I've been exploring it the last six days I've been here. I am surprised by its diversity. Yes, definitely. Um, do you have a favorite part or parts? Um, yeah, I, it, it is really diverse. <laughs> I'm just trying to think which is my favorite, but um, they all you have pros and cons, I guess. Mm. Uh, but some of my favorite would be the single trail right from uh, Miller's Road right through to the, the falls. Um, it's some of the prettiest, the most mm. scenic around the lakes and um, over you know some of the the rises. They're not 
mountains really compared to um, to going to Europe, but yeah. um, but there is you know a bit of a scent there, and and then the forestry roads are obviously a lot wider and open, but the the pro of that is that it's very runnable and you know mm. can, if you get into a good motion, um, you can tip over the caves quite quickly. Mm. Yeah. With hope, right? Yes, <laughs> with hope. Um, yeah. So I want to ask you about the progression of your running career. As you said, you yeah. started with this race. Yes. Um, now five, six years ago, is that right? Yeah, uh, this is my fifth time, but I, I did it in 2011, and then um, I had a wee break when I had my son, mm. who's almost five now. So I came back to it in uh, 2014. Okay. Um, and Got so, it. yeah, so then... This will be four in a row now. Got yeah, it. Yeah. Um, so when I came back in 2014, I um, had just got back into to running again, mm. uh, picking up the distance after I'd, I'd had my son, and um, and that was the year I came seventh. And that was probably for me uh, quite a turning point. I realised because there was uh, there were quite a few internationals there that mm. year in the female field, and so. I thought, oh, okay, this is this is good. I'm sort of in the top top portion, so yeah. um, so I thought maybe I should um, be a bit more diligent about my training and mm. put, you know put a bit more effort in, and which I did, and I carried on like that for another year um, without a coach, uh, just doing my my own thing, and then it was the middle of 2015 when I uh, decided to um, get a coach on board and see if um, that could help and make some improvements, which it, which it definitely could. Clearly does. did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then this past year, you've really diversified and uh, multiplied your racing. <laughs> yes. Can yeah. you talk a little bit about the places you've gone? I saw mm. you in Portugal. Yes. You were at the Ultra Trail Australia. Mm -hmm. Where else did last year um, take Last you? year, I also went to Europe for the first, well, I went to Portugal later in the year, but Earlier in the year, around June, July, um, I went to um, Europe for the first time to mm. race, and I was at uh, the Mozart 100 in Austria. In Austria. Out of Salzburg, so that was, yeah, each of the races have been so diverse and yeah, different. That was mm. very much you know, based right out of the historic city uh, and around some of the surrounding lakes. And then I went over to Switzerland and up into the Alps, <laughs> uh, up pretty high, the and did the, yeah, did the Eiger 101 over there in mm. July. Both you and David Byrne yes. went. Yes, that's oh, right. Yeah. You brought, like, the Australasia force. Yes, we did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, have you found racing out in the wide world to be compared to being on your home turf? Yes. Um, there's a lot to be said. I've realised after having those experiences of uh, of travelling over and uh, travelling over to Europe and racing. Um, there's there's a lot to be said for being on home soil and um, having your family and close friends around, the emotional support, and um, also uh, less travel. Like you know, it does take it out of you those long international flights. So yeah. So I'm looking forward to it. you got to really want to go somewhere if you're going to sit on a red eye yeah. all night flight, yes. don't you? Yeah. But I do enjoy that part of it as well because yeah. obviously, yeah, that's part of the reason I got into the ultra marathon running as well because I saw the opportunities to um, to travel the world and see corners of the world that you know a lot of people don't get to see. So. I want to end this interview with asking how you this sport at all. I mean all Kiwis seem to be really integrated into your outdoors like mm. everybody's an outdoors person but you're a mom you have a business you're you know you're an adult onset runner or an yeah. adult onset competitive runner yeah. how do you find this sport or how this sport find you um right back from the start like how mm. did I find yeah okay um it was actually um through a contact in Shanghai uh, was hmm. the, my first introduction to ultra marathons and wow. or adventure racing um, a, a call out basically to see if anyone was interested in doing the Gobi March uh, through the through the Gobi Desert no kidding yeah 
And so I you thought, started with like the 250 yes. stage race. Yes. That was your first one. Yeah. No. I thought that, that sounds like a good challenge and somewhere I hadn't been before. And wow. and there, and yeah, that's how really? I started. Yeah. And um, before that, were you a recreational runner? Recreational or? runner, yeah. Huh. Yeah. So you went there, you didn't blister your feet off, and you no, somehow not too bad. came home in love with the sport? Yes. And then you ran a 65k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that means you so, went backwards. Yes, yes, yeah. You could you could put it that way, but it was over over six days, so yeah. it's, it was a different type of race. Too. Yeah, I've done what those we, races, yeah, that's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of miles in a short period of time. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't, um, yeah, it wasn't probably your typical progression from yeah. maybe half marathon, marathon, building it up. I um, sort of threw, my, threw myself in the deep end of it. Mm. Well, another deep end on Saturday morning, yes, I guess. it will be. It always is. Yeah. Well, best of luck to you. Thanks, Megan. In defending your title as Tarawira Women's Champion. And I look forward to chasing you through the woods. Great. It's going to be fun. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks.